Gratitude is a big force pulling us back. Uh, 21 years of relationships and gifts that the school gave to me and to our children in the preschool and the lower school. So I feel a strong sense of duty to come back to DA and excitement about the learning that our children will get to do uh, in the middle school and the upper school eventually. Uh, and also I think it's a school with still a lot of untapped potential. It still has a very bright future and all those things combine to uh, make us excited about coming back. We've learned a tremendous amount in five years, uh, even before you get to the international school part of it, uh, throwing ourselves and getting thrown into lots of wacky situations, linguistically, culturally, travel, uh, all of it. And it's helped galvanize our family together and teach us a lot individually. On the school level, if I had to choose one thing, it's probably the, the multi-level nature of diversity here. In the States, diversity is often a question of race and then maybe religion and a few other things. But here we have uh, a real kaleidoscope of histories and stories and motivations and what people have done before they get to the school and what they aspire to after. So I'll come back with a much broader sense of the world and American education, how it's unique, and uh, just the variety of human experience. I, I hope to bring that back to DA with me. Good question. There are a lot of habits that I'd like to bring back to Durham Academy with me. Uh, check this out. Here's one. Uh, out of the window of my office, I've got this view. And they're a lot more like it, even more beautiful. And a big part of the culture of this place is taking time to uh, appreciate the natural beauty of the world and the beauty of relationships and people. And taking time for that is part of Italian culture. So I'd like to bring that back as much as possible. I'm coming to a beautiful place at DA with campuses that are indoor, outdoor, and um, I think the potential is right for that. Connected to that is a very simple thing that we do here that changes the culture, I think, in a fundamental way. And that is just being a place where people make eye contact, shake hands, and learn each other's names. Very simple things. It's a, it's a low bar to set. but. When we greet each other here, we really try to make contact, eyes and hands, and um, learn each other's names. And nothing knits together the community like that simple thing. So it's a challenging thing. I hope I'll learn as many names as I can. And I hope that will become a part of the regular culture at Durham Academy school-wide. I had good teachers. I was lucky as a student to have uh, a lot of excellent life-changing teachers and particularly a string of English teachers who taught me how to love words and stories and conversations and uh, made it look like great fun to work in schools. So that's what drew me into the profession and then what has kept me is the learning uh, from more teachers, colleagues, administrators and students who, who keep pushing me and challenging me and teaching me new things. So. All of them are very present. Uh, while we got the, the mobile camera, I'll show you what my desk looks like. Uh, I like to keep pictures of people who uh, are meaningful to me, some recognizable faces there and here as well. Uh, there's my senior year English teacher. There's Jimmy Leonardi, whom I taught at Durham Academy as a ninth grader. Uh, John Wooden, had the chance to meet when I was 13. The Marlettes who uh, taught me quite a bit at Durham Academy. Uh, there's even Mr. Irons as a high schooler who inspired me as a, as a student. So uh, yeah, all those people continue to mean a lot to me and continue to uh, inspire me in what I think is the best profession in the world. <sighs> oh, sorry. I am extremely energetic. Go, go all the time, nonstop, 24-7, that's me. Um, seriously, that, that is the routine here in boarding schools, but all schools are like that. Uh, energy comes from adolescence, comes from young children. I, I think it's the most powerful force on the planet, human beings becoming their better selves. So I, I think it's a great privilege to work in schools and, uh, it is endlessly energizing. So that's, uh, that's my secret. And, uh, the other part of that, of course, is chocolate dark chocolate, 65 to 80 percent 
it's no accident that I moved to Switzerland and uh, I'll be coming back with a lot. So um, thank you very much for your questions.